Hello there, kia ora. Let's have a little chat about this country's Deputy Prime Minister, Winston Peters, and what he got up to last week. You see, on Friday, he decided to announce he was introducing a member's bill to Parliament that would essentially create the need for penis police. People who go around and guard bathrooms to make sure that the people going into those bathrooms are the right gender. And there are so many issues with this. Now, he claims it's about creating safe spaces in bathrooms for women. And here's where things get kind of really interesting. There has never been in this country a recorded instance of a trans person assaulting anybody in a bathroom. This is completely made up, imported cultural war bullshit that he is funneling into to try and get votes. And this is why he's done it. You see, he is tanking in the polls. There have been four polls released in the last couple of weeks. And while there have been some variations for most parties, the one big thing that's consistent across all of the polls is that New Zealand First is in trouble. They are really struggling to stick to that 5% threshold mark. And he's looking at dropping out. Then last week, well, nobody paid any attention to poor old Winnie, did they? Because they were too busy talking about woke food like quinoa and sushi. And Winston doesn't like not being out of the press. He needs to make a noise to be basically be pulled in, to be interviewed, so he can talk about woke media shills. And that gets his base worked up. And they weren't paying attention to him last week, and he's tanking in the polls, so he has to do something that feeds into that cultural war bullshit that his idiotic fan base really seems to like at the moment. You know, the ones who are really, really super into their conspiracies, but don't see it as conspiracies. So what we know is that Winston's in a bit of a panic mode and doing something to whip people up, and to do that, he has targeted a tiny, tiny minority of people. Less than 1% of the population identify as trans after all. So what we know is that he's doing all these things to work people up, to basically get them foaming at the mouths, to make people on Twitter who think he's absolutely amazing go out there and spew hatred and all that kind of bullshit. This is a Winston playbook at the moment. But what's really happening here is he's kind of setting himself up for a bit of a problem, as well as the rest of the coalition. You see, to introduce a bill to the House is fine, but it doesn't guarantee it's going to be heard or discussed. Every party in the House has to agree to discuss a member's bill if it gets introduced, unless it gets pulled out of the democracy tin. But this House is not going to agree to that. The Labour Party, the Greens, Te Party Māori and National have all said that the idea of this is not a great one. National's leader Christopher Luxon described this policy as being on another planet. So the chances that it's going to be discussed at all, even if it gets pulled out of the tin, is zero. On top of that, Winston has the power to turn around and say, look, I know this wasn't part of the coalition agreement, but I'm going to walk away if you don't agree to it. Do you think Winston wants to be known as the person who pulled the government down around the idea of penis police for the rest of his life, the rest of history? I mean, he might be. He can be petty like that sometimes, but that's a really weird hill for him to die on. But his followers know he could, and his followers expect that of him. The craziest people in New Zealand first think that this is the best idea ever. And he should be pulling that card to try and make sure that he can get this into Parliament. They want to tear this country down because they think it's funny that Winston has the power to do it. Winston has to decide whether or not he wants to destroy the government based around whether or not people are using the right bathrooms, according to him. Well, whether or not he wants to let government tick over and try and pretend like he didn't have the power, which isn't going to be swallowed by his weird conspiracy theory cooker followers. So Winston's kind of dug himself a little bit of a hole here. And to do so, he's been the biggest transphobic asshole it is possible to be in this parliament. Man, you gotta love this coalition sometimes. It's not chaotic at all. <laughs>